Hi guys, welcome back or to my channel. So today's video, I have a super, super exciting video that I'm so excited to talk about and just address. So if you've seen the title, you know that today I'm gonna to be introducing you to my two new pets. I recently rescued two dumpy tree frogs, also known as White's tree frogs, and there's other names for them, those are the two I know. So um, yeah, I'm gonna be talking all about their story. You guys are gonna get some cute clips of them eating as well as just cute photos because they're just little slimy alien boys. They're so cute. Decided let's destroy my skin and uh, add some frogs on my eyelids for today's video because I ordered a frog mom sweater and I'm so excited for it. Or it's a frog sweater to show that I'm a frog mom and um, everything's being delayed. So I did this instead just to show how much I love them um, since I don't have sweater. Uh, let's just talk about their story. I'm going to take each of them out for a little bit to introduce you to them, but they won't be out the whole video because you're not supposed to hold dumpy tree frogs for very long or very often. This is the first boy. This, they are both males. This is Homer. He is the loud one. He loves croaking. He is your classic dumpy personality. He is bursting with personality. He jumps everywhere. He is constantly croaking at literally nothing. Like my dog will bark and he'll croak. Um, currently he's like a dark purplish brown or like brown kind of color but he's usually pretty green. Um, but they do change colors and he's your classic dumpy. He likes to pee on me for no reason. He's just an awesome boy. So um that is Homer. I have water and some dirt on my hands so that um, he doesn't contain the oils and I just completely wash my hands free of soap, everything like that. So um, but yeah, that's Homer. So basically I was on Craigslist as I always am. I'm always looking for new rescues if anything needs rescuing and I just searched up frogs because I want a chubby frog so bad and I saw these guys like three or four ads down um, and what did you just do? <laughs> And I saw them, so I just clicked on it because the first picture was actually of him. Now that I've tried to mist my hand so he wasn't absorbing anything, and he decided, let's get slime all over Emma's mirror. We're back. He's a thicker one of the two. He was definitely better fed, or just, he just seems more like, I mean, neither are very territorial. They get along very well. I haven't taken the other one out yet, but um, he gets along really well with his, why are you going sideways? <laughs> his mate. And um, they do really well together, but he, um, definitely seems to be like just the bigger more chunky unit as you can and I wasn't expecting to find much because I searched frogs like two weeks before that and I found these guys like three ads down and I just clicked on it because it was the first photo I think was him and um, just a picture of him so I was like oh let's see the other photos so they were in a 12 by 12 by 18 exoterra which I mean, <laughs> I'd recommend a little bit bigger just because especially at night they're very active um, but it wasn't necessarily the size of tank, it was the fact that they had one small branch and one plant in the entire enclosure. I have wanted white tree frogs. In like one of my first videos, I said that I wanted white tree frogs on my wish list. I just wasn't intending to get them now. So I told my mom I wanted to rescue them. I got the lady a lot um, down on the price. I still obviously had to pay for them, um, which I was fine with. I was comfortable with that. But um, I did get the price down a lot more than what she was asking just because I was telling her you know some of the care was wrong and uh, everything like that so I got them and I told my mom it was a rescue but I instantly knew oh my gosh look at this pose you oh, I, I instantly knew I was going to be keeping them but I just had to rescue because I didn't know like what her oh thanks for jumping on my camera okay come here you're very impressive please don't be on my camera uh but then I um got them and I instantly fell in love and my mom didn't see them she was like asking for pictures but I was in such a rush to go get them so we went and got them and um, then we came back and I showed her a video of them eating because I just offered each one one cricket just or maybe it was a mealworm I don't remember um, but I just offered them one bug just to see if they wanted to eat right away and they obviously did dumpies are just known for like eating literally anything they'll like eat try to eat fingers they're just constantly hungry um, so then I left them for the night and showed my mom and my mom's like we have to keep them and I was like I know. We have a Bubba. Bubba is the tinier little guy. He actually has two, I'm not completely sure if you can see. Right on his like side there he has two little snowflakes which I love. As you can see he is less chunky. He needs to gain some weight so he gets about two or three extra bugs than Homer does. Uh, just cause Homer is very thick and doesn't need that many but um. Uh, here he is. He's a gorgeous color. He doesn't change color very much. He's pretty much a pretty consistent like bluish aqua color, which I absolutely love. This is like one of my favorite colors. Aside from the honey morph or some people just call it yellow, um, 
this is definitely like my favorite morph just the classic normals <laughs> so when i got bubba i swear in the first few pictures because i told you i had to take them out of their tank because i had to add more stuff to it because it was literally nothing and i also cleaned it um i took a couple pictures of them and i swear he had blue eyes in the pictures and now today he has like green or hazel eyes what the heck did they like change color in their eyeballs i don't know but as you can just see he's just <laughs> chiller he just is always sitting there just such a polite frog also you don't want to handle these guys often i have only handled them um twice ever and actually he's this is the second time i've ever handled them and homer that was the third time because i had to take the first time was i had to take both of them out and the second time homer i just showed my classroom for three minutes and um they've been here for over a week and this is the only other time but i'm not intending to handle them often at all you want to max it out at once in my opinion once every week and a half and no longer than 15 minutes and you need to have your hands so stripped to the point where you have the least amount of oils you physically can and no um soaps and no chemicals that can kill them very easily no pss, nothing um and you also want to have some water or dirt on your hands so they can't soak up the most oils they physically can the reasoning for this is because they drink water through their skin so it just absorbs into them so whenever they feel a liquid or something they can absorb they might think it's water and they'll just they can't really help it they just absorb it and um that's very deadly to them so you do not want to handle them often um can you come to this hand <laughs> just so so small and cute um but yeah uh you just don't want to handle them often but i just wanted to show you guys them quickly in the video so they're still in the 12 by 12 by 18 exoterra with their uvb they have a lot more things in their enclosure i'll let bubba go back now hey go buddy just go onto the plant um but this is their quarantine enclosure so they have way more stuff in it but they'll eventually be going in a 40 gallon vertical so i'm so excited for that i'm going to actually start uh start it um start working on it tomorrow which will actually be a future video so sneak peek of that but uh, that's their enclosure as of right now i'm missing it they're being fed every three to four days and they're just doing really really well settling in well i hope you guys enjoyed meeting homer and bubba this is not a care video please do much further research into them than this this is not any type of care guide there won't be any for a while as you guys may know if you watch my other videos that i like to own an animal at least two to three months before i start giving any care for it because i want that hands-on experience i really want to get used to them and get in a daily routine with them um but i will be keeping them they will not be up for adoption and i am just obsessed with them they are either the smallest or one of the smallest rescue well they're one of the smallest rescues that really need to be changed aside from their enclosure being changed they didn't need much um change they didn't get much supplements they got like a vitamin powder but they never got calcium but they don't have mbd or anything like that um but they're doing really well they've settled in really well they've been eating um they've had two meals now and they're just doing really well so um they'll be in quarantine for the another couple weeks but i'm going to start working on their vertical 40 gallon enclosure they will permanently be in and yeah i'm literally so obsessed with these guys you guys have no idea but um thank you so much for watching if you have any further questions on these boys please let me know down below otherwise you can ask me on my instagram and you can go there and see more photos of them and cute content which is emmy's pets and i will see you guys next time i love you so much stay awesome bye guys